Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, actually, I just want to give a comment on uh, your um, assignment, the, the exercise that I give you yesterday, uh, which was about the tetrahedron and um, uh, okay, let me check first. I don't remember the equation. Okay, so um, I can see that most of you, I would say all of you, I uh, sketch the graph. Um, you give me um, a sphere. Uh, sorry, a sphere, a complete sphere with radius three. So actually, the answer is wrong. That why? Okay, I know that. Uh, okay, look at uh, look at the equation given, the original equation given to you. So here, uh, for the trace on x and y, uh, that was fine. Yeah, both uh, traces you got a complete circle lying on x y plane. So that is correct. But now when you plot the z x plane and the z y plane, it is incorrect. That is because your z is only positive. Remember, I told you. I think I have already told you. You have to be careful with the original expression given to you. Sometimes they give, they give you um, this uh, form and sometimes they will give you this form. If the original expression given to you in this form, yes, you have a sphere, a complete sphere with radius 3 centered at the origin. But if the original expression given to you in this form, which is as I, as I give you in the um, exercise, I give you originally in this form, so meaning that Z always positive. So we have only hemisphere, okay? Which means that, uh, uh, so this is not the original expression. So for the X trace, I mean for the, when you set X equal to zero, so you have Z equal to the square root of nine minus Y squared. Then I know that you will modify so you have z squared plus y squared equal to 9. So this is after modification. Okay. So but then the original one means that z always positive. So from the after you modify, we know this is um looks like a circle uh with radius 3 on uh zy plane. But then so we got 3 here, but then your z always positive because the original expression in this form z only positive. So you have to erase. We just consider the uh, the upper uh, the upper one, the top one. This one. Okay. And similarly, if you have uh, uh, y equal to zero, so we have z equal to square root of nine minus x squared, and you will definitely get after you modify, you will get this one, and you also have. A, a similar circle on the x plane on the x plane but then you look at the original expression given to you it is just considered z positive so again you have to erase the down here so we have just half of the circle so when we join them together when we join them together so why so when you are standing over here when x is equal to 0, so you can see just semicircle. And then when you are here, and you can see another uh, semicircle. This way. Then that one. And then from the above, you have a complete, so you a uh, complete circle. Right, because you set uh, uh, z equal to 0, so you will have 0 equal to square root of x squared minus y squared. And this will give you uh, 9. <laughs> Sorry. So z e 0, 0 equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. So x squared minus... Uh, so x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So we have a circle with radius 3.
so we have a hemisphere okay so that is the correct answer